Hey guys, welcome to round 3 upper bracket for the 2v2 awarded war tournament. And we are seeing Team Axis, they are Team North, Thompson as Finland, Mr. Pringles as Japan, on the opposing end, the allies, Roma the Beast as Commonwealth, and Player as Soviets, Player also known as Nat Nat. Thompson going the Assault Squad for the Sumi SMG. And Mr. Pringles going in Assault Squad for the Type 100 SMG. And I guess cheaper price to go many singles, as you can see. On the other end, Roman the Beast will come out with the Elite MG. And Nat Nat with the Elite Marksman for the Soviets coming into the position quicker to ambush anyone coming to the flag. MG in the position of Shootout should win in this engagement. SMG is not too good in this uh, shootout position. And sorry about the flashing. Strobe glitch is on. Thompson though making the use of this hill to evade the shots from the elite marksman. We got throwing grenade after grenade. And that one killed everything but that guy. Destroyed the whole wall around him. And that little adventure, grenade adventure Thompson had has failed miserably. He's lost a lot. He lost nearly his whole squad. So second squad is going to buy a regular elite marksman perched up on that hill. Straight over the centre, nothing there to shoot out with, and I guess the assault squads cannot really do so. A bit of grenade tussle from Pringles, trying to catch that MG off guard. Now try to sneak around the corner, and maybe can now using this hill as a bit of cover. MG is relocating, and he's going to try to reach him out with his own grenade. This guy's a multitasker. He's very skillful. Another grenade to finish him off. Grenade from Mr. Pringles. Until he really wants that dead, and it's very important to kill that. If he does kill that, it's pretty much a whole squad's worth of guys. Nat Nat now slowly secure, securing the center flag, and he is capping it, moving his elite marksman further up. And that opening was really decided by the buyers, in my opinion. I suppose Pringles could have flanked, but didn't really get the chance. Didn't go well for him. But uh, yeah, that MG better in range than the SMG, obviously. And obviously the rifles for really deciding the Nat Nat who won the shootout. But regulars out from Thompson now should be able to do a little bit better, especially the Red Guards are in the open. So quite a considerable force in the center, which may be a bit hard to actually attack without any sort of infantry killer right now or sniper to take out the infantry. Vickers VG are so strong on that hill. You see on this uh, really really quite a high elevation for the Allied team. Uh, this map is called Orchard by the way and I do think this favours the Allies due to the big hill. Uh, hill can be a disadvantage later on though if the Axis do cap below right below that hill but it allows units to really hide behind the hill. Things like SPGs, rockets, everything are pretty much uh, pretty much safe from any sort of shootout. Whereas on the Axis side there's a few little hills that can block some sort of tank attack but not as high as the other side, so that's the problem with this map. So Axis really need to be careful not to... or maybe be, more, be, be a bit more aggressive to, to perhaps get that hill below so that the SPG rain won't happen. Thompson, more regulars coming out. A few single SMGs, gonna try another attack on this hill using the hill to block the shots, throw grenades over and not going to decide much, I think. It's just going to... A bit of a micro nuisance, a bit of casualties on both ends, and I think too drastic. Thompson loses that engagement once again. But Pringles with a flak 20mm, not flak, that's a 20mm Type 2 buy. I don't know what you can call it, the flak. Is flak 80. Does that mean anti air in, in German or something? If that's the case, then I was okay to say that. Mr. Pringles pushing up a bit. Oh, he's taking out the Elite MG. No, Elite MG has run back. But now the Allies are. Forced to withdraw back below the hill of the safety. The 20mm is out. And so this map's pretty classic, I guess. Uh, classic shootout, classic counter, and hide behind the hill. Back, counter the 20mm, hide behind the hill. Come back out the hill, sorry. Till this BT 7A. This is the SPG. SPG attacks are starting from the earliest possible SPG. BT 7A. Already going to target that 20mm. Kind of a weird angle though, so it may have some weird shots as you can see right there. But that BTA is secure, safe. Not in a million years can the other team travel all the way up that hill to take it out at this stage. Still trying to take it out, Mr. Pringles scurrying 
along to take get back in and move away. <laughs> Decrude once again. It only hits, so it only hits when it's crude. Look, it's gonna miss and it's gonna hit next shot. I'm gonna predict what happens. It's gonna hit! It's gonna hit. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Some reason why if it's crude, it happens. Let's take another shot. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I found a new pattern, guys. It's one miss, one hit, one miss, one hit. So that's. Uh, I am, I am um, a bit silly there. <laughs> Swedish volunteers, one special point from Thompson, and the twenty mil has escaped the clutches of the BT seven A. BT seven A is still going for it. Maybe hasn't escaped the clutches, but it can actually go all the way up. It's still a long way up till he can. Uh, until it exposes itself on that hill, it can go even further up here. Uh, anyway, there is no counter with the BD-7A anyway, so you could pretty much go further and further. Thompson has a decent, interesting sandbag line with all sorts of angles. It's very strange of him. Is he writing something in? Writing something for some reason. Help, SOS. <laughs> SOS, God, help me from this... from this uh, silly, crazy hill that you call... Um, what do you call a balance map? Watch it. <laughs> Crusade AA hey, hey, coming out the center. I didn't even, I didn't even realize this map was on the roster to be honest. Um, but I certainly didn't put it there. And a bit of a strange uh, map glitch there. Excuse me. Crusade AA. Hey, hey, hey. Fridge Killer plus the BT-7A. Still no tank counters as of it. Oh, here it comes. No, it's the BT-42. They want to play this SPG game with the enemy. This is the SPG map indeed, as both these teams have shown buying SPGs of their first vehicle buy. This is a more powerful gun, BT-72. Uh, what is it? It's a 140mm gun. It packs a pretty big punch and will be able to knock out the sandbags and the guy manning the sandbag in one blow if it hits. Unlike the BT-7A, not that great. Remember the beast with the 80 infantry looks like he wants to go for a far Jutska far shot style, but that's definitely banned in this tournament. Reconnaissance leader. Oh, this map is going to be so great for a reconnaissance with the binoculars. Full rain, nothing blocking. Well, I guess the trees are, but yeah, pretty much. Otherwise, you can see a lot straight down. You can see BT7A using the Axis Hill, which is so tiny, and it may be susceptible to a shot from a few at the side. BT7A, not BT7A, that's a BT42. BT7A is actually doing a lot of damage right now. Crusader A coming for a pop shot. Gonna try to take out the MG priority target. Does so. It's just the Swedish volunteer machine gunner though, so it isn't too expensive. Chinu from Mr. Pringle is gonna take out the Crusader A or try to take out the Crusader. And the cheeky Roma the Beast goes down below the hill before he can get shot. Chinu eagerly waiting him. Type 2, 20mm, moving to the right. Uh, maybe use some of the trees as a bit of cover from the BT-7A. BT-7A is still pounding at this infantry. Let's see, the BT-42. It's funny, the Finnish have a more powerful Soviet tank than <laughs> the Soviets are fielding. Definitely, they're good thieves, I guess. Battlefield thievery by these Finnish guys, making the most of... What's on the field? T icon of Thompson with the Swedish yellow and blue colors. Team North from the Scandinavia. Mr. Pringles from Finland. A very a newly formed team. But both of these players, veterans of the community. Mr. Pring uh, Mr. Thompson, extremely old veteran, playing in the Inuki tournaments a long, long time ago. Mr. Pringles, champion of the last, not the last tournament, that was Tedessa 5TA. Last 1v1 tournament before that, champion of the last three 1v1 tournaments, I believe, or even four. Chinu takes taken out by the T3457 from Nat Nat. Mr. Pringles try to go for an assault, get below the hill at the other side. And once they do that, they have a bit more of a chance to come back in this now susceptible. 57 does take out the type 2 20 millimeter. Pringles has suffered in the assault. Nat Nat jumping on the scoreboard 82 to 47, almost double the score, but still early days. 25 to 0 as well. Team North struggling 
to get some good kills off. Pringles Thompson actually coming in as well. Both of them actually is are actually assaulting the southern area, but no luck. Too much firepower. Left side pinged. What's going on here? They're going to try and assault there. It looks like Thompson's sending his Swedish volunteer squad over here. Um, interesting though, he's buying a lot of Swedish volunteers. It's not just like the first squad, this is like the second squad. Bit of uh, nation bias, it may seem. <coughs> BT42 has been engined and tracked. By what? Was that the... We did that? Wow. The BT7A can take out the BT42 with the HE shells? Interesting. I'm pretty sure that was definitely not the 57. That was way too far away. But now the 57 is going to come out. No, it's Crusader AA 57. No, yep. The, everything's coming out to play right now. We've got tank domination. Why not? Crusader A can come here, push all the way, take out all the sandbag guys behind the sandbags. BT 42 hasn't been able to make much impact. 57 for a shot. As you can see, the allied side of this the allied side of this map is just nuts. And while this is going on, I'm going to check if this map is on the roster because this is something that Nat would have done anyway. Nat, Nat would have said, no, nope, screw you guys. This is, game is not counted. And it shouldn't be counted because it's not on the roster. Anyway, this is map one, guys. If anyone's watching this, Mr. Pringles, ask for, re ask for a replay. Nat, Nat would have asked for a replay if, uh, yeah, pretty much if, if he said the wrong thing. If he sneezed, sneezed and typed it out, he would have been banned. According to the rules, with well, sportsmanship would argue. So, <laughs> argue that's not sportsmanlike. So, what's going on here? Ooh, oh, figure. I want to hear some hear some uproar in the comments, guys. It's uh, all you guys who've suffered in the suffered by Nat Nat's. I uh, guess. Uh, I don't know what you want to call it, guys. Because now's your chance to upri to to have an uprising. Attack from uh, Roman Abyss Anzax going to the northern point. <coughs> well, they've played two games already anyway, guys, so most likely it won't be overruled because it might be a bit too late. That's, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that uh, could be a possibility, perhaps. Cheeto backing away for some reason. Can it easily take out the Crusader AA? Boom. BT7A not doing too much. Trying to take out the Chinu, maybe try to track it. Yeah, awkward position. I mean, awkward. Look at that. There's just nothing to shoot at. But hills is t hills too high. Really, really hard. Perhaps I guess maybe both these teams would have agreed to the map. That's that could be a reason. I don't know. Chiha, Mr. Pringles, gonna try an assault. He loves the bonsai call. Mainly goes it for the infantry though. Infantry costs no CP. And the Chiha, he just uses it to attack. Not really to, to kill things, just to just charge and suicide. But that that was a bit too suicidal as they're just gonna do nothing. Grenade finish off. Bam. Cheeto has taken out the 57, though 57 came with the play. Mr. Pringles had a very hard shot to hit behind the trees and takes it out. I can see the mortar uh, out soon, but the BT-7A will have something to say about that too. Straight away though, straight to the sandbags, because he knows it's going to be susceptible right away to the BT-7A. I'm not going to relocate. Other Chiha taken out by Piat. Pringles now moving his paratroopers on the northern flank. They easily shoot up the Small force guarding Roman Abyss moving his then SAS soldier here. Is that the AT infantry guy? No, just the support one perhaps. T60 gonna fill the gaps and that should stop it. Nat Nat coming in. And the paratroopers should be stopped in their tracks now. <coughs> Cheeto gonna try and maybe help. Maybe not. Yep, it is. It's gonna go move. Swing to the northern point. How Help the help his comrades. Same time, Thompson gonna try a push with the assault squad. And oh no, it's not the assault squad. This could be the no, it is okay. I thought it was the uh, shock troops of the Finnish trench, the trench clearing squad. 
But it is the Assault Squad plus a single flamethrower bite. Boom. One for Dim Millimeter. Takes it taking up a bit seventy what the? It's moved. That was very, very risky. Easily taken out without the sandbag, and wow, look at that BT-7A, just so uncounterable on this allied hill. This map is really, really unbalanced, seriously. Why did they play this? It's not even on the roster. Um, yeah, it's not even on the roster. So mind you guys that. BT-7A. Moving to the left. T60. Cheetah. Trying to get the targets. Still can't hit any of them. 7A is kind of hidden on that hill still. T60 holding back, trying to guard their point. <coughs> Content with the three flags they have. Cheetah now going to try hunt it down. Bazooka from Nat Nat going to. Ooh, we're gonna punish that cheetah if it gets too near. There is one guy over here. Pistol. Oh no. Ooh, he's spotted by the sniper there. Boom. White death. Not just any sniper. The best sniper in the game has saved the cheetah. Good combo there. White death and the cheeto. Doesn't need infantry support. He just needs a man. Um, what? Doesn't need infantry men support. He needs support from a crazy Finn instead. Boom. Pick off these red guards bit by bit. That's an elite MG2. Perfect target there, Vickers Vickers VGO. Definitely what you want to do. Piat. What the hell is that? Remember the beast? Looks like, he always looks like he's trying to fire shoot. <laughs> he doesn't. Always worries me. A nice shot from the Cheeto. Takes out the C60 through the barn. Bedford a Bedford truck, nothing to be worried about. Elite MG is relocating, perhaps noticing White Death there. He's got 28 kills. 28 kills. Full veteran scene now. Its fire rate must be a lot more. How much is the fire rate increase on veteran scene? 5. Weapon reload 30%. He's so fast right now. 2 plus weapon skill. Damn. How much health has he got now? 675 veteran. Far out. He is one beast. It'll be hard to count it. Needs a 20 mil or a snipe. But this may turn the tide in the center. Gonna go for the Vickers VGO. All eyes on White Death. This is his time to shine. Oh no. Is this lag? Oh what the hell is he doing? That was lag or some bad control as oh no, White Death has been flamed. It doesn't matter his hit points, he's been cremated with his fellow I don't know what you call it. You don't call them comrades in Finland, do you? That's totally opposite because you're fighting against the Soviet gut people. You call them comrades. <coughs> fellow friend, I guess. Oh no, bazooka, and this is all Ooh, track. Can he stop that? I don't think so. The MG on the top is not What the nice shot from the Cheeto. AP sniped, got a nine, uh, whatever, hundred, a 75 millimeter shell right disintegrated that poor bastard. And that's definitely payback. Shoot a bazooka at me, take a shell. KV2 from that, that decent buy on this map, but unfortunately, <coughs> this side is great for a tank like the Cheeto or a bigger tank. Doesn't matter, the SPGs can't hide. There's no hill on this side. Pretty much on the, any other side of the map except this side, they can hide. Another Bazooka and Nat Nat sneaking in trouble. No support right now, and looks like this time he's gonna fall as there's too much. It's from Rumble the Beast. Put away with 80 grenade. Doesn't hit the Bazooka, Mike. And it does. <laughs> Relentless allied assaults from both sides. And not much infantry support. Nice shot from the Tulip. Takes out an entire squad. SPG, Rocket Heaven. So hard to attack. <coughs> How can you kill this tool? How can you kill anything behind this hill? You cannot. 
But uh, the only way, I suppose, is going right here. Then you can flank and attack sideways, but you're susceptible from spawn attacks, spawn buyers, all of that. That's, I guess, yeah. <laughs> SPGs or RT would work, I guess. RT might work. SPGs have to get extremely close to take out the RT. Now this RT is... I guess he bought the veteran artillery. It can't be... It's not the pinprick shooting. So it's the veteran RT. Shoot a few more... A few times. It gets accurate. I think. More accurate. First shell is a teaser. Second... The next salvo is a bit more accurate. And... Uh, it keeps going, I think, after the second volley. Until the second or third volley. Black 38. Another Cheeto coming in. And Type 2 has been decrewed. And that they're going to finish it off. Perhaps two rifles not missing. Reservists can't take him out. They need to go back to shooting score. Two grenades will finish him away. Pringles with the guy with no weapon. <laughs> oh, the Cheeto would have been great to have with a 20mm at the same time. You said that AA being very cheeky as well. Roman the Beast with an, the Piat? What is it doing? Keeps aiming at the sky. It's a bit uh, suspect. Look, watch that guy. Mercen Sniper shooting something. It's the Reservist. Cheeto coming in. What the hell? There's no support. Pringles is just going hard. He wants to take out the KV2. KV2 is a bit susceptible for a shot That's that time. Trying to take the opportunity, but very risky. Still lacking a bit of support. Just single buys, single recruits. Sorry, there's no such thing as single recruits. Half a recruit squad. What's what's he gonna do? Why is he looking at the smoke shell? Out? Did he realize he had the smoke shell? Out? He's shooting smoke here. Okay, that is just a weird tactic and kind of a waste of a salvo, perhaps. That's I don't know. I really don't know. Thompson with the flame up. It's good to see a good barbecue. Now it takes out the SAS. <clears throat> I think he just realized that. <laughs> He's like the AP shell. <laughs> I think with that, that artillery it fires two shells. That's like the the shells which which gauges the accuracy. <coughs> Or maybe he did on purpose, I don't know. AP shell loaded now. Tulip preventing the cap. Now going back to the allies. Struggling to get on the board, T North. Do have a flak over here though. Uh, the BT7A, is that still alive? No, it's not. So they've got the Tulip and the KV2 now. KV2 is going to go for it. Cheeto going to throw its HE shells at the flag as well. Hmm. KV shells trying to hit the KV2 from the artillery. Not having much luck. A few lands are quite close to it though. Ooh. Oh, I think that one might have hit if it if it stayed still. Pretty lucky from that, Nat. Say that AA. Take a shot down here. Nope, no go. A desperate attack right now. Elite MG in the center. No, that's just a commander. Not just, that's a commander. Probably a few Dalai rifles in the mix as well. And these guys are just going to run in to get slaughtered. Even the Tulip wants a bit of part of the action. Takes out the rest of them. Reservists coming in. Also some SMG guys. Tito for the Crusader AA misses. Black also shooting at the commandos. It's a lot of firepower to take out the reservists. There are another Flak over here. Another 20mm from over here from Mr. Pringles. And that's gonna... Yeah, that, that's uh, helping. That's definitely going to allow them to take the center now. 96. They've stopped it, finally. <coughs> but it might be a bit too too late. Wow, that's a tulip. was very, very cheeky. Roman the Beast coming out for a shot. Very risky. And we tried to catch the Chinu with its pants down, I think, on a little side turn. KV2. 
Going to maybe go behind the hill a bit more so it's uh, more safer. Cheeto is going crazy. Just misses. Hard to hit, I guess. KV2 misses as well. Uh, two flags still not being counted yet. The BT7A actually doing a better job than both these vehicles. Oh, KV. <laughs> so Tulip decruise, just decruise it. So, so la so much larger the reload is for the Tulip and the KV2. Bigger firepower, but uh, yeah, the, the BT7A was much better at killing the 20 millimeters. And these guys have been alive for so long and counterable. Now allowing the Axis Team North to come in. Reconnaissance, same guy from the start of the game, hasn't fired a shot, thus hasn't really revealed itself and is providing some good line of sight. KV2 tries to take it out again, again misses, as you can see. Not very good to have to not very good for the 20 mil killing. Cheetah. Backing away. Five to ninety-six. Not much coming from the other team. Oh, allies are coming in. Remember the beast from the assault squad to the southern point, which is quite unguarded. Does have an SLF Elite AT squad. KV2 misses once again. Type 2 20 mm actually moving away from the right, which they might need very shortly as. Yes. There's a pending assault here, Crusader AA also in a position where it looks like it's going to support the troops for a southern sneaky cap to get the majority of the flags. Cheeto though will be able to easily take it out. Not really. Bit of a gap, bit of a hill. It's a bit of a decline there too. It's all valley or road valley. Cheeto. Definitely coming to fill the gaps. 20mm moving as well there. Even grenade rifle, wow, takes out three SMGs. That well, looks like the assault stopped in its tracks. 20mm moving to save the day. That center is where it's gonna maybe decide. That sneaky SNLF soldier from Pringles. Oh, it's revealed itself. Lots of uh, sh lots of stuff that shoots behind hills. From the allies safely camping. Not much coming from the allies though. Tulip. Ooh, tries to take out the K the cheetah, but maybe can that bush flame the cheetah? Looks like it's safe. Looks like it's safe. I think the engine's not gone fire. It's scary. Pringles pushing up further. It's got to be below the hill. And moving up. Grenade from Rama. 20mm. Chuto backing away. Jamie <laughs> 2. Has it actually done more damage to, I don't think it's hit anything but his own troops. By death, still still almost the top scorer. And been dead for the last 15 minutes. So deadly if uncounted. 20mm type 2. It's in such a forward position. Actually, pretty good position for Pringles. That's, actually, that's pretty good. It's awkward for these SPG things to hit because there's a hill. The hill's quite steep and it might hit the hill. So Piat from Realm of the Beast manages to decrew that 20 mil. Trying to actually kill it. I don't think you can kill it. Looks like it's completely intact. It's just yeah, bouncing off it. Pringles knows where he is and finishing him off with a grenade. Just decrease it again. Oh, I think it's damaged the gun at least. Yeah, the gun's bent as you can see. So I guess worth it for now. KV2 takes out the other flak, other 20mm. Cheeto now is going to be the target 
for the Tulip and the KV2. Three fifty one to two six five, considerable score lead. Twenty four to ninety six, considerable climb to the flags for Team North. Team North moving the twenty millimeter away to get repaired, but but banking for these recruit guys to hold the flag is beyond that. Not too much. Oh no, there's a full squad. There is a full squad, so they have a considerable insurance if they lose this light. Pringles sending more guys to here just to delay. For him to be a bit of a nuisance to root these guys out. Where's the assault going to come from? Center looks quite strong. Partisans? This rifleman. Nothing too strong. From European gentlemen, perhaps Team North can come back into this. Just gotta be careful. Cheeto trying to take a shot. Tool up for a shot on the Cheeto. Oh, misses, but it doesn't matter. Takes out almost the entire squad around it. Bit of an attritional game. I do think the allies will get the better eventually, because one of the one of the shots will eventually hit it the longer the game goes. Cheeto. I think he hit the hit a rifleman somehow. Yeah, along the game goes. Allies should have more money as well because they've lost less, and the Cheetos uh, are going to be hit sooner or later, and then they can make the move with the Crusader A8, and that will decide the game, in my opinion. It's been tracked by the KV2. Luckily, not hold. KV2 Notorious for destroying heavy tanks with his HE shells. I haven't really seen this guy being effective. I think Thompson is just trying to AP artillery pieces KV1 constantly. But has never had any luck whatsoever. <coughs> is it firing? Nope. Tulip. Takes out the other 20mm. Nutritional battle is on. The artillery piece of Thompson has been fired for a while. Still not being fired. Another flak from Thompson, but there goes the Cheeto. KV2 finally hits its mark. So I have to counter on this map, and now is the chance. Crusader A. Yeah, here it comes. Room of the Beast. As I suspected, this is going to end the game. Let's see if it if he can pull it off. There's no AT infantry around, I don't think, from Mr. Pringles. Yep, all Thompson. And now it's going to be nom 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 nom. Infantry, everything, nothing out to counter this Crusader AA. It's going to try to decrease that. And now once it's decreased, that, that's going to come up with a grenade. No, it does not. But uh, not much coming in. They're really not pushing infantry for line of sight. Guess they just want to take down that flak soon. Red guards coming in from that, that big buy and could be the one to push in. Once the 20 mils down, Crusader A needs to decrew it. Doesn't want to. Oh, Tulip doesn't matter. Tulip does put it away. Tulip has got three kills. Three. Three? Oh, two vehicles. Okay, so it's just two 20 millimeters up its belt. And now covered by the Crusader A 20 mil, they're going to start capping the center back. Red guards can just storm in as well. Only slowly assault squad reservists. Yeah. Really bad troops guarding it. Crusader A, here comes a full assault now. Everywhere Crusader A is coming out in the open too. Artillery from Thompson going to try to take out the Crusader A. It's too fast. Next shot is going to hit back here. No, Thompson actually uh, able to take another shot, perhaps. That was just a... It was just a, a guiding shot. Nom nom nom. DP, 29. Crew AA. No way. Bam. Done. Hmm, okay. So that looks like European gentlemen have surprised, uh, surprised us with the win. 
They were definitely not the favourites in this matchup. Team North, definitely the favourites, excuse me. And yeah, so I wonder what's uh wonder how this map got chosen or how it was allowed or if it was allowed. As Nat Nat caps the back point. And there goes the quit. GG, well done to European gentlemen. I think. Uh very unbalanced map. <laughs>